This is the second narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 2, Chemistry of Life. Let's get started. The concepts listed here include the basic properties of atoms, the fundamental unit of matter, and how those atoms interact through chemical bonds to merge together to form molecules. Atoms can come together in different combinations and arrangements to form molecules. There are three different types of chemical bonds that hold atoms together. Electrons have most of the control over how an atom will react because atoms tend to react in such a way to fill their outermost electron shell. The first electron shell, which is closest to the atom, is able to hold up to two electrons. The second and third electron shells are able to hold up to eight electrons each. Once each shell contains its maximum number of electrons, the shell is considered to be full and is in a stable condition. These numbers have to do with the three-dimensional shape of the electron shells, which is not discussed here. This picture illustrates how the first electron shell can hold two electrons. This picture illustrates how the second electron shell is filled with eight electrons. This atom has ten electrons total when the first and second shells are full. Electron shells fill lowest to highest. If the outermost electron shell is not completely filled, then the atoms will be unstable and will tend to react with another atom. Imagine trying to spin around with your arms out, and a 20-pound dumbbell is only in one hand. You will need both hands to be filled with dumbbells in order to remain stable. If two unstable atoms come into contact with each other, they may be able to react with one another or bond together to fill their outermost electron shell. The atom on the left needs to two electrons while the atom on the right can give two electrons. Both of these actions will result in a full outer shell of electrons. Bonds can be formed in several ways, but each type of bond will be a result of the atom tending to fill its outer electron shell and becoming more stable. Ionic bonds are one of the three types of bonds. They involve two or more atoms donating and receiving electrons. When an atom gains or loses an electron, it becomes electrically charged and is known as an ion. In this picture, molecule A donates the one electron from its outer shell to molecule B with seven electrons in its outer shell. Molecule A becomes positively charged because it now has more protons than electrons, while molecule B similarly becomes negatively charged. Then, just as the universal law states, opposites attract. Here, you see both atoms have a complete outermost electron shell. Covalent bonds are a different type of bond where electrons are shared between atoms. The sharing of electrons does not have to be equal, as we will see with polar covalent bonds, which are possible to, to the unequal sharing of electrons in a covalent bond. Covalent bonds are the strongest of the three types of bonds. This picture shows how the electron orbitals of these atoms overlap so the outermost shell is filled, two in the first shell and eight in the second. When atoms are covalently bonded and one atom is more strongly attracted to the shared electrons, the electrons are shared unequally. 
bonds formed by electrons that are unequally shared are described as polar. Bonds formed by electrons that are shared equally are known as nonpolar. Hydrogen bonds are a special type of polar covalent bonds between a hydrogen atom and another type of atom in a neighboring molecule. Water is an example of a molecule that formed a hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonds are the weakest type of bonds. This chart reviews the different characteristics of the three types of bonds we discussed. Covalent bond, ionic bond, and hydrogen bond. Chemical reactions are interactions between two or more molecules. Chemical reactions involve the breaking apart, bonding together, or rearrangement of atoms in those molecules. In review, this narrated presentation from Module 2 discussed molecules, electrons, chemical bonds, and chemical reactions.